Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. And for our first story today, I want you guys to meet or actually have some answers about the man who spent $72,000 a couple days ago on this skin on screen, a factory new Stat Track M4A4 HAL with four iBuy Power hollows on it. It actually records as one of the top skin transactions ever in CSGO, and that did go for $72,000. And first off, thanks to this guy on screen, that's actually Devs, the video editor for Fnatic, who got in touch with Ness, and I'm actually gonna tell you guys a few answers to questions out there. For anyone who who's actually curious about the guy who spent over $72,000, thousand dollars on a virtual item so first off his name is Ness that's not actually his real life name but he's actually 30 years old and he is from the Chinese scene allegedly is a Chinese investor so really no big surprise out there when we actually saw this happen a lot of you guys probably thought the first country he probably came from would be China that is indeed true and apparently he's a family guy out there but he's been playing CSGO for quite some time actually playing Counter-Strike for about seven years but only CSGO for about four months time and he actually has a large collection on screen I'll show you guys some screenshots of his inventory as well he has a lot of the top tier knives out there and mainly what I got from Dev uh, in translation I'll show you guys the screenshots on screen for proof as well the conversation did go down it was pretty much a flex buy yes he's an investor yes he has plenty of money he runs a private business accordingly but he actually did not do it as an investment in the sense that he wants to make money in the future he did it as a pretty big flex buy he has the money to spend he enjoys CSGO and that's overall why he bought it he enjoys the game so pretty crazy I wouldn't say idiotic especially a guy like this who probably has in numerous amounts of money but that's some answers for all of you who are questioning who this guy was. On top of that though, a lot of you guys were questioning what's happening with Immortals. As of a few days ago, we had Henny and Lucas, the twin brothers. Alongside that, KNG supposedly leaving the roster. We're going to find out Thursday though. That's their first matchup for ESL Pro League. We also had KNG tweet out this a couple days ago saying he is a player of Immortals. So that kind of confirms I think he might be staying with Steel and Bolts on the roster, but the twin brothers might still be leaving. We'll find out Thursday. And if they're going to play with the rest of the Immortals roster in ESL Pro League, we should find out sometime soon. A guy who's actually close to KNG did tweet out this as well and he's actually talking about the twin guys who apparently have arrived in North America. A lot of the people who are in North American ESL Pro League actually play out of North America. As of right now, they're moving to North America to play with the team, and they should actually finalize whatever's going to happen sometime soon. Whether they stay with the team or go away, we'll find out sometime in the near future. Now, on top of that, I do want to warn all of you guys, I'm not going to be posting videos about this in the future because there's so many scam websites out there, but there are a lot of scam websites particularly getting a lot of interest right now. One of them being SkinJar.com. Not Skins, but SkinJar.com. It's a phishing website. Alongside that, we have skinsjar.io. Other scamming websites I'm going to look into for one more video. A dear friend of mine, Sector, is actually looking into all the phishing websites out there. I don't mean legit gambling websites. I mean sites that actually get you to sign in and they fish your information from you. So please be careful, guys. All, all, all the websites out there with weird names, even websites that copy are very, very close to popular website names, please be careful. They are guaranteed phishing websites. I'm working on an article, not an article, but an actual video right now that will show you guys proof of this. Be careful when you don't trust a website, do not use it. And also some roster change news for all you Godsent fans out there. Don't be too excited for the future of Pronax. It seems the founder himself of Godsent will be on the bench for quite some time. As of right now, Pith, former NIP Pith, will be standing in for Godsent for the time being. But it does seem, according to Slingshot Esports, article linked down below, that it will be Freddie B from Epsilon Esports to permanently replace him sometime soon on the Godsent roster. Now on top of that, I'm very excited to announce that former Liquid Pimp has now found a job as a stand-in player for the Danish team known as Heroic. I'm sure many of you guys have heard about them as well. He will be a stand-in player going forward for them. So congratulations. He now went from a few weeks ago or back in July actually selling hot dogs to make ends meet. He has now officially been signed under contract with Team Heroic. Now also off this as well, this guy on screen for all of you, the cute, lovable guy he looks like, has been causing a lot of trouble out there for teams like NRG and his former team, the Bulgarian team known as Outlaws, because it seems they are now under another contract dispute. And this is the number one example of karma, guys. For many of you guys who do not know, we actually had Team NRG steal this kid away. He's just 17 years old, a Bulgarian opera out there known as Cirque. I'll re-show him on screen. What a great guy he looks like, but he's causing a bunch of trouble. If you guys remember, NRG stole him away from Team Rogue. He was going to sign him as well, and now Karma bites back because Outlaws came out with HLTV and said that this guy signed with Team NRG, but still had a contract with Outlaws, and there's a big dispute over here. On top of this, though, Outlaws showing some very, very bad sportsmanship. They came out with their own post on Facebook, and they said this on screen. I'll link that Reddit post down below who caught that, but if you guys do not know Bulgarian slang out there, Mangal or however you pronounce that, is apparently heavy slang and very offensive slang for calling this kind of a gypsy move. You know, gypsies move from place to place. So they actually misspelled his last name on purpose in Bulgarian slang ways. And that, yeah, that just, that kind of just puts it out there. Like, I do not want this player to play playing for outlaws, especially an organization who can make that post to all their fans and purpose 
purposely do that. But on top of that, if he is under contract with Outlaws, I can't argue the fact that, you know, maybe they do want ESL Pro League to take this back. And if these disputes do go their way, it seems that he will be staying on Outlaws and not be able to play for his new team at Team NRG. We'll have to wait a few days though to see what's going to happen, guys. And will they let him play? We're going to find out sometime soon. But still, very inappropriate of the organization for Outlaws to do that. And that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. I do apologize for the shorter uploads as well as the weird upload times these last few days. I will be live streaming tomorrow morning though, so if you guys are watching this 12 hours after the upload, I'm going to be live streaming the ESL Pro League fantasy games I've set up. I set up 10 servers as of right now. I might set up more in the future, but currently I looked into it and actually thanks to Beaver Boy for telling me there's a big problem with ESL Fantasy Pro League. So if all of you guys join my leagues, I'll try and link some of them down below, but they're all full as of right now. It does kind of suck because any of you guys join, we have 20 people in each and every league. We've filled 10 leagues so far, and apparently once you take a player, no one else can take him. So it kind of ruins the whole point of fantasy. I think it's really poorly done by ESL. They need to realize that there's only probably, you know, let's say, 50 to 60 really good players out there. And if we have 20 people who all have five people, five players in each of their teams, these teams are going to kind of suck. So hopefully ESL maybe fixes that in the future. Maybe make it so players can actually be chosen multiple times by multiple people. But anyways, hope you guys all enjoy. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for another live CSGO News uh, live stream slash show slash whatever you want to call it. Live, love, laugh, laugh. Okay, that's my outro. Bye. <laughs>